everybody I got another journal to share with you guys today this one's a little different but all mine are different I know I know but if you ever wanted to repeat on one it would be a little hard for me to do because I have all this stuff in my head and I have to get it out <coughs> pardon me and like I said earlier, I, I don't repeat any journals. Every one of my journals are, are I, I think, totally different from any of the other ones that I have made. And that's that's what buzzes around in this head of mine. And, and I just have to get them out, and that's what I do. And this is one, and she's glitzy, but she's not a... a uh, shabby chic she's not that she's she's gothic but she's a glitzy botanic gothic journal now isn't that a mouthful she's 108 pages and she's a six by nine and she is craft text uh no she's not i'm sorry she is a hanging folder you know what they're like that they're they're very durable durable and what I've done is I sewn some funky sewing around got this gauze here and then two layers of cardstock and I've sewn around this one and <clears throat> and then you've got these stones these flat back rhinestones you got the pink and you got the white and these are like emerald cuts uh, this is an oval two ovals and three em emerald cut mm -hmm. stones and then you've got this beautiful gothic botanical flower right here in the center and she's a beautiful blue and so I chose this fabric that I had a little bit left blue on that side and she's green on this side now that's different isn't it mm -hmm. she's got this big blue pocket right here that you can put something in there and so let's take a quick look through and and I hope that you enjoy her now here's the inside you can see the sewing and this uh, spine fabric I brought inside and this has I didn't bring that out this is glittered not glittered but it's got gold in it see that it's painted uh, gold and golded here so it's a very glitter not glittery why do you keep saying that Linda uh, it, it's a glitzy fabric this gorgeous black cotton lace I put right here on the top and then it goes right there and you can see the little bit of the gauze coming out I wanted it to do that and then look over here you have this beautiful gothic flower and then I put a a flat back pearl right there I rounded the pages some of the pages this is 67 pound paper I printed on got some fabric right here fabric tape that uh, linen fabric tape that uh, Tim Holtz did This is just a card, a journaling card there. This is cardstock. But the the main theme are, are these gothic flowers, black flowers. And then I cut this out and edged it to make it look like it was burned part of the paper. This is craft cardstock. Isn't she pretty? Then you have a craft envelope. There's plenty of journaling spaces. You know, I say that a lot, but there are. And then anything that I have clipped on would just go beautiful here as a tuck spot. Like I, you know, I glue a lot here. On, on a lot of things but I've started to clip more things 
that you could take off and use. And this is a blue notebook paper that's been uh, coffee dyed. These pages have this beautiful edging to them like it just dripped right off. <clears throat> you got a spot there. This is a uh, packing paper that I've ironed and cut. A little bit of music. A different type of pocket for you. That spot. Washi tape. The one thing about uh, these type of papers that you can buy from these these digital designers on Etsy, they don't give you very many to make a big journal. So you have to, <coughs> pardon me, you have to think about what you're going to be putting with it. I would have liked to have more. And then you've got a pocket here. I would have liked to have more of these to put in here. But I can see it takes some time to do these and they are more expensive than than your normal digitals that you buy from Etsy on Etsy. Again I added this right here in the middle. You can write right there. And I did a flat back pearl at the beginning of this signature. And you can see that lovely fabric right there. More of that linen washi tape. Washi cloth is what it really is. husband's in the kitchen. Mm. And this is another thing. They do very little ephemera. Very little ephemera. But I appreciate their art. This really turned out pretty. Got lines on the back. Fooey. Yeah. almost look real but it's watercolor I mean she painted these watercolor and then made, made them into a digital you can just she's very talented his 
linen tape. And this is the only other piece of ephemera that came with the package. But she's different. She's fun. She's beautiful. I mean, how often are you going to find a glitzy, botanical, gothic, botanical, grungy journal? Uh, 108 pages front and back and she's blue and brown <laughs> I mean green teal it's really a teal it's a teal I don't know how it's coming through I can't tell by looking at it but anyway this is uh, black flowers I should have guessed what I would have named it black flowers and she will be up on Etsy naturally and um uh, I am still running that. I'm running that 30% off entire uh, journal, all my journals, on on Etsy. Um, I think till December the 21st. And I hope some of y'all. I know times are tough. I mean, I understand. I feel it. And I just wanted to help out any way that I can. That I can, you know, afford to do. We all have our 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 limits. You know. I know, and we have our budgets that we have to adhere to, but I hope that my 30% off will help somebody make a decision that they can get themselves a journal or give a journal, uh, one of my journals, as a Christmas present, or a New Year's Day present, or a birthday present, whatever. So, but anyway, thank you for stopping by today. I thoroughly enjoyed visiting with you, and I hope you enjoyed looking at black flowers and I will talk to y'all on another day. Bye bye.